The most important component of CS125 are the daily lessons. That is how we teach you. The daily lessons replace lecture, which we don't have. They replace a textbook, which you don't have to buy. They replace all sorts of other pretty terrible online materials that we don't force you to acquire or to use. Um, instead, you learn this class through a rich sort of interactive multimedia experience. I feel like I'm somebody talking in the 90s now, but that's sort of what it is. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through one, show you some of the components of it. Um, you'll get familiar with this. They come out every single day. Um, all right, so let's go over here to the uh, Learn tab. This will show you an index of all the lessons that are available to date so far. There's only one lesson that's available. Uh, that's Welcome to CS 125. So I'm gonna click on that. And what you'll see is a mixture of uh, different components. We have videos for you to watch. Uh, this is today's lesson. So these are some of the videos I've recorded introducing the course staff and other parts of the class. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna to get to some uh, of the lesson components that I wanna go over with you. So as you can see, there's text on this page. There's videos on this page. We expect you to read the text, to watch the videos. No single part of a lesson is, uh, is sort of equivalent to other parts. So not everything that we wanna teach you or need to teach you is written down. Not everything is in an example. So you really do need to uh, interact with all the different components on the page. Don't expect to just be able to read it and to get the idea or just watch the videos and get the idea. Everything is designed to work together. If you don't, uh, if you skip certain parts of the lesson, uh, you'll be confused when you get to a quiz or when you try to do the homework problem. Um, we've designed the lessons to uh, work out to an amount of content that we feel like is quite doable for you to do on a daily basis. Um, you know, learning a skill, learning anything, really uh, is built on daily practice. Whether you're lifting weights, whether you're learning to do yoga or an instrument or to play a sport, doing a little bit every day goes a long way. Doing a lot at once isn't very helpful. Um, so that's what we expect you to do and that's why the course is structured in the way it is. So let's look at some of the different parts of the lesson. So uh, this is one of the most important parts. So these are playgrounds. Uh, these are uh, runnable code examples that you can interact with. You can modify them. Uh, you know, I could say uh, play here. I can run this. If I hit control enter, that's a shortcut that allows you to run the code. You can also hit the play button here. Uh, the results of this are shown in this output box that you can close when you're finished. Um, now, this may not make a lot of sense to you right away, it will soon. We're gonna be teaching you how to uh, write Java code and how to understand Java code. And a big part of that is learning from doing. So interacting with the code, running it, trying things. Um, you know, the students that are experimental in this class, who try things, who learn from their mistakes, um, who edit their code, who try to get it to do uh, something that wasn't quite what the example had in mind are the ones that, that really do well. Some of the examples, if you see this green check mark, uh, this means that your work in this editor will be saved. So the next time you come back to this page, you'll see any changes that you've made previously. We do this when we do longer examples, um, so that if you wanna play around, uh, make some edits, um, your, your changes will be saved. This is also true for all the homework problems, which we're about to get to. Okay, so these are frequently intermixed with text. So we'll, we'll talk to you a little bit about something and then we'll show you how that works using actual code. And again, this is also editable and runnable. Uh, the only difference is that if you return to this page later, your edits will still be here. Okay, great. Um, now let me introduce you to sort of two of the most important components. This is probably the most important single component. What we're looking at here at the top of the screen is something called an interactive walkthrough. These are probably the primary way that we teach you in this course. So here's how they work. You click on one of the little avatars here so the core parts, and uh, somebody uh, starts talking to you. In this yeah. case, it's me. Um, and what you're gonna see is that as this goes on, I'm sorry, let me uh, mute this. this. Um, what you're gonna watch is you're gonna watch me edit the code that's in the uh, window. And you know, uh, you'll watch me make changes. Uh, it takes me a little while to get going here. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit while the other me talks in the background. But at some point you'll see the cursor start to move around. You'll see the text inside the window change. You'll see results um, if I run the code. Um, and the idea is that we're, you know, this is not a video, but it's sort of video like. We're showing you how to interact with the code. A lot of times for a more complicated example, rather than trying to write down every part of it, we'll just jump into one of these environments. We'll write down uh, what we're doing and then you can watch it as it goes along. Let me fast forward a little bit here. Okay, so now you see I'm starting to edit things, right? Um, and these edits are synchronized. I'm showing you what happens when something goes wrong when you run the code and I'm talking and explaining things as I go. Um, 
So if at any point you want to play uh, with the code, you can pause the explanation and then the playground is yours. Uh, these are editable uh, just like other uh, parts of the, of the code are. And when you're done, you can hit play and you'll pick up where I left off. Um, you'll also know something else about this, which is that there are two staff members listed here. Uh, so uh, Ananya has also recorded her explanation for this piece of uh, content. And if you click on it, what you'll be watching is her show you a little bit about how to use this particular part of the course. And this is a theme that we're going to see over and over again, the staff making contributions. Um, and so, you know, you may find my explanation confusing and it may not help you very much. That's great. There's somebody else here uh, to try to explain it in maybe a little bit of a different way that you might find more effective. So please take advantage of that as you go. Um, at some point, if you have watched enough of one of these explanations, uh, you'll have the option to rate it. Uh, I'll just let this run while I'm talking about some other things, just to show you kind of what this looks like. So there'll be a little rating dialogue. Um, if you have feedback, this doesn't appear until you've seen a certain amount of the explanation because we want to make sure that you've actually seen it and you can provide useful uh, feedback. If you have feedback, it's just a simple star system. Um, you know, uh, don't feel shy about giving things bad ratings. It's certainly gonna not going to influence your grade in any way. This is really to design, help us understand what components of the course are working, what parts of the course are not working, so that we can go and fix things in the future. All right, so there's also video content. This works in a very similar way. Uh, this is kind of a silly example, introducing you to my pets. Uh, same thing here, though. You click on the avatar, and the video will start to play. Um, and so, again, just as a reminder, the videos contain interesting, important, useful information. The walkthroughs contain interesting, important, useful information. Don't expect to just be able to read the text and, you know, succeed in this class. You really have to engage with these components. The staff has spent a lot of time recording these explanations for you to help explain how to do things with code. And they're, they're really, really cool. This is a unique component of CS125 that you will not find, as far as I know, in any other introductory CS course that I've seen. So, um, okay, a couple of these just to get you going. Another playground. Okay, so now let's go down and look at our homework problem. So every lesson concludes with a homework problem. Normally the homework problems are due on the day that the lesson is released. However, for the first couple weeks, you'll see uh, basically all to kind of help people get started, people join the class late, all of the first set of homework are due uh, on the 7th, which is a, is a Sunday. So you have until midnight central time on uh, February 7th, which is two weeks, uh, just under two weeks from the first day of class to finish all of these homework problems. So here's what a homework problem looks like. It uh, looks a lot like the uh, code environments, those code editors that you've been interacting with. Um, it is, is going to save my work. Now, I've already finished this one, so let me go back and show you what would have been in the editor window when, when we started, which would have been, hello, student. Okay, I run this code, and what I'm going to see is that the, uh, the code doesn't uh, follow the instructions, which are posted above, and so it doesn't succeed. Okay. Um, if I fix this code and get it to work and have it print hello world, now you'll see a couple things happen. First of all, I passed all the tests and I got a nice message. And then there's a green check mark here indicating that I finished. Um, let me go up here and show you. Okay, so now you'll see that you have the opportunity to rate this explanation. I'll put great. Um, if you want to delete your rating, there's a little trash icon there. This is an excellent explanation. So good. I mean, how you know, such a such a fantastic explanation of, of hello world. Um, I, I, I do think so myself. Okay, so this is what you do on a day-to-day -day basis um, in this class, is that you go through these, uh, you go through stuff one at a time. If you wanna check up on your progress, there's a very easy way to do that, and this is a part of the class that we'll, we'll keep updating as time goes on. Uh, head over to the grading page. And now what you can see is that I've there's been one homework assigned and I've completed it, that was homework zero, I just finished it. Uh, there's also a quiz that I haven't taken yet, that's listed for tomorrow's quiz, the first syllabus quiz, uh, and you can use this grading page at any point uh, to check your grades in the class. Okay, so that's how the lessons work. Um, and every day, there'll be a new lesson. So, uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we release lessons. Saturday, Sunday, for the first couple months, we will typically release a problem for you to work on on each day. Typically on the weekend homework, both homeworks will be available for you to work on on Saturday in case you want to knock them out and have a day off. Um, so that's how, that's how we do this. We do this one day at a time, a little bit at a time, incrementally, bit by bit, step by step, yard by yard, mile by mile, we will build you up 
to the point where you really have a very, very deep understanding of what you're doing, but we do it one day at a time. Um, so again, every day, come to the website, do that day's lesson, interact, learn, explore, experiment, play, finish the homework problem, and you're good. Um, that's the daily rhythm that you enter into in this class, and it's tremendously effective at teaching students. Uh, we know that now because we've been doing it for several semesters and it really does work. So good luck. Um, we'll see you on the forum and around.